Oh, this definitely could be our year. And speaking of our year, this could also be your year too, especially if you get your fitness on. Now, maybe you want to add this to your arsenal, right? Now, the perfect blend of fitness regime balances cardio strength, endurance, and power. But we often focus heavily on the initial two, but introducing agility into your routine can boost your overall performance, your speed, and strength in any workout. Now, we've got someone here that's going to do something special. Yes, guide us through these exercises designed to enhance our strength and our agility. So, of course, the one and only Paul Jordan is here to show us how. How are you doing, bro? Good in yourself. Liquor, oh, Monday morning, bright and early. This is perfect to get the endorphins, the blood flowing, and get into the week, man. What you got for us? All right, so obviously we're going to be performing agility exercises. Yeah. You took the words straight out of my mouth <laughs> when, you, when, you, when you named the benefits. Um, we're going to be doing some agility exercises combined with some strength movements. And um, yeah, we're going to be performing about three, and then we're just going to keep them going on okay. a roll. So let's get into the technical side of how we do it, and then I'm going to ask you more about how to incorporate this into a workout, okay. because that's always the interesting yes, part. Yes. So what's the first move that you got right, for so us? So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing side shuffles. So let's just demonstrate to side the people. Shuffles, side right. shuffles, all right. So let me demonstrate, OK? okay? So it's going to be one, two, squat, and we're going to be doing high knees, OK? okay. And then back. Repeat. All right, okay. so you're shifting over to the left. So you're going yes. one, two, two, squat, squat, high knees, high one, knees. two, three, three. And, then and then back. Then back to you, two, squat, three. and then high knees. Yes, but with every, with every lap, you add one more squat. Okay. Oh, so you start with one rep, then two, two, two then, then three, three, until we go into... Okay. okay. What would be like the goal in terms of rounds to get to? Like I 10 rounds would be like quite... 10 to 12. <laughs> 12. Give yourself like 60 seconds rest. Okay. And then you repeat. That'll add you up. You can add like three. You can do like three overall sets. Okay, okay. lekker. Should right. we get into it? Yes. Okay, um, let's go. Like so maybe we should stagger so we don't yeah, knock into yeah, each no, other. No, and no. again, Mzanzi, if you're doing this with your family, make sure you stagger as well so no one knocks into that. But let's go. Pull you down in the building. Yeah. Okay. One, two, squat, high knees. One, two, two squat, high knees. high knees. One, two, squat, high knees. What, oh. are we doing two squats there? Are we adding the squats every time? No? You are correct. Yeah, yeah I got, I got one up on full. Yeah, go again, go finally. Again. One, two, 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 two. Okay, so one. One, two, two high knees. High knees. <laughs> one, two. two, one, two, high knees. And now it's three, right? One. Oh. Two, three, high knees. One, two, let's go. One, two, three. That's good. Okay, let's keep, right. let's keep the view. Feeling this, man. Right. Okay, so carbs, legs, core, everything's coming into play. That especially the heart rate. And it's a little bit of fun as well. You can get some music, you can dance to that, right? Exactly. So you can do about like three or four of them. Okay. And then we can move on out to the next one, right? All right, what's the next so, one? The idea of everything is basically just to keep the agility going. Yes. So I want to basically say we're going to go to one, two again. You can perform a back lunge, forward lunge, back, one, two. Ah, and then you use the opposite leg for yes. the forward and back lunge. And right. with every lap, you add one more. All right, okay. So that's basically my recommendation for this. Okay. Let's give it a try again. Let's go, all right. Okay. So one, one two, two, reverse. Okay, forward, forward first, forward. Forward, and reverse. back. That is great. Lovely. Same thing on this one, side. One, two. two Forward, forward first, and, and back. back. That's oh, nice, good. right. One, two, forward, forward first. Back. back. One, two, forward first. Now, this is proper because you really got to concentrate here. You really got to like pay attention to what you're doing. But at the same time, everything in your body is being used, used here. So like I can feel my feet and my calves. I can feel the legs activate, but the core's got to be engaged right throughout. Core's yeah. got to be engaged, right? Yeah. So this is basically just for your lower body type of yeah. exercise, right? Agility is good for the athlete to work on the balance, to work on the strength, to work on the speed. So this is basically while, we, while we're performing this. Beautiful stuff. And how are we incorporating the workout? Are you going for time? Are you going for reps? So, so basically what I, what, I prefer, what I recommend to my clients is to include this either at the start of the session or at the end of the session, right? Beautiful And stuff. I will recommend do about doing about 15 to 20 minutes. And this you can, you can actually be performing these exercises at home. And then after that, I'll recommend doing some strength training just to get you know, the blood pump into the, the muscle well. <laughs> Paul, you're not coming through. Thank you so much, brother. If you want to get more of your fitness journey accelerated, then find this guy online. He's got all the sources, all the tips you need. And on top of that, you can clearly see I've got a workout on. I hope you enjoyed that. It's Kickstart Monday. Whew, nice stuff, man.